Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. Uh, my name is Saiken, we're playing better one of uh, this mod on Legendary Iron Man difficulty. And today it is time to finally liberate uh, the very first region. It has been almost 40 episodes, uh, but we got the first region uh, in firmly in our grasp. So what we're going to do is we're boosting the infiltration by 50%, yes please. And that will bring us down to a moderate 34 to 36 enemies, 135% uh, infiltrated. Great, specifically since we have an eight-person squad here. We brought the finest of the fine, our A squad, with our Templar, uh, Ranger, a specialist, a shinobi, so a lot of frontline and support, sharpshooter, technician for removal, a gunner and grenadier for even more removal. That's going to be interesting as uh, this is the very first alien quote unquote base uh, that we're going to infiltrate. And we just landed. One five. There we go. And investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. Okay, we got a gigantic area to play with. Got no high ground. A lot of kind of heavy cover here and there. And let's use our Shinobi. We're not on a time limit. Let's use our Shinobi to give everyone a bit more movement. Position confirmed. And position us in a way that we hopefully do not spot out enemies. It's a large map and we have many, many, many buildings over here. And the only thing that we need to do is neutralize all of uh, the enemies. That's easy enough. We're doing that quite regularly. It's my understanding that we can keep all of the corpses, which is even better. Fury here is going to lead the charge. All right, got a few towers, nothing to worry about. We got Ed Gallian Poe. Let's position our sniper over here, full cover. I'm all over it. Dark Tower Noxus. Let's put Roby. See, that's the problem with having too many people. At some, from time to time, you're running out of, uh, of really good cover. Okay. Good enough. Everyone is finally in cover. And we're overwatching. I am thinking whether or not it's necessary to to blow our cover uh, just for that one uh, tower. You can easily take it out. But I still like the idea of us being concealed. All right, I stopped uh, the recording for a moment. The enemy turn takes ages, which tells me it's in minimum 35 enemies. There might be something else.
Let's continue the exploration for now. We don't immediately need to break cover. Uh, concealment, rather. Moving to the front with everyone. There now. In some of the cases we're only being able to use half cover. Roger that. Agreed. As you can imagine, I want to get on to one of uh, these buildings. Dead Galleon Poe moves in and as well. And let's use our Shinobi for scouting, shall we? Good. I'm fine with even moving up the sniper. I don't see any harm in that. Rolling out. Got it covered. Eyes Good. Eyes. We're overwatching again. Nothing spectacular happened so far. Right, and we're back, so not much happened, other than two drones apparently showing up. Um, I don't know from where they came, because since the turns are taking so long, I am, I've am i decided to be AFK during uh, the enemy turn. Anyways, let's take a look here, shall we? So we could we could waste some explosives. I think that's not that's ill advised, not necessary at the moment. Instead, what we can do is getting rid of the tower first and then taking down the drones. That should be straightforward. Three enemies are good enough to blow concealment. And the drones will start moving closer to us. As expected, very nice. Good. Now, let's use Zirkim here. He has armor penetrating rounds. Good. And instead of killing the other drone, what I want to try is moving Edgar Alien a little bit further forward to keep the momentum. And let's try to hack it. It's only a very limited chance for us to actually get it, but having nine hit points as a scout isn't the worst in the world. So let's take temporary control over it. Perfect, worked like a charm. So we got a new scout that is very expensible, uh, expendable. Great. That worked out absolutely fantastic. In the meantime, we're going to move over here. And we're starting to capture the rooftop. What's over there? Moving into full cover. Roby with his very limited movement. Again, whenever we can, just double move him. Out. 
let us yeah i don't i don't want to put uh, anyone on the rooftop yet it's, we're definitely going to fight from the rooftop since it offers so much more value for us and yeah, let's park him here for now okay that way he's not blocking the ladder Zierke moves as well, and we're going to use that one ladder to get everyone up here. Just to make sure that we're not accidentally triggering something else. And there's a first pack of five enemies. Pretty interesting mixture. Grenadier, Heavy, Rocketeer, um, got a Scout and a Captain. So if we could ambush those guys, that would be awesome. And we just saw that the Lost are going to join us. That indeed is interesting. Okay, so we know about the enemies over there. Hmm. Let me think. So if we're opening the door, it's not going to trigger anything, probably. Well, I was dead wrong because there is another hidden pack. Matter of fact, the pack was larger than originally anticipated. Nice stun lancer. Oh my gosh. Well, joke is on us. By the way, just out of curiosity, why is Advent parking their cars in the middle of a room? That's somewhat counterintuitive, right? Yeah, whatever. Let's start removing some cover and hopefully dealing serious damage. We're in full cover, so I don't need to fortify the position. Plus, we're going to close the door, so they won't even have a chance to see us. One thing that hasn't changed with my graphic update is that apparently if for whatever reason explosions just render so much slower than before probably because they are triggering the loss again <laughs> yeah the cars exploded at the same time All right, we killed one and we just triggered 20 loss. I sort of promised you that this mission here is not going to be boring. And it sure isn't. Before we even can take the first cover, we're being spotted out. By the way, thanks to the loss, our Shinobi is now also spotted out, which means we don't have a scout. Great. But 
Thanks to our sniper. We can get rid of at least some of the loss. Oh boy, this is going to be so much fun. So, we're removing as many of the losses as we can for now. And... You know... Mm, Let's wait a second. Fury here can remove some of them as well. Not a big deal. And we know that there were a lot of loss that have moved up to here. Which I'm now going to quote unquote abuse the mechanics a little bit by moving fury up here kind of into the middle of where all of where I'm expecting all of the loss to be just to realize that none of them had been up here damn okay my bad anyways this here could grant him a kill I uh, probably should have killed the stun lancer down there. And of course, it wasn't even a kill. Okay. Couple of shortcomings here. Should have used the stun lancer and then moved back. But I didn't. We're still fine. Uh, this here just could have been more efficient. All right, let's let's try to deal with them one by one, shall we? Just in case we're, the door is going to be reopened, I'm going to fortify Zirkim's position here. And let's take the take out the gunner first. Good. Before we take his second shot, I'd like to see what the sniper can theoretically reach. Uh, we're going for the stun lancer because the stun lancer might be able to KO one of our guys immediately. Good. Probably need to deal with this side here as well. But if we're closing the doors, is there actually anything that they could see? Probably not, because we're behind full cover and they can't reach us. Okay. Let's continue to kill the ones in half cover. Okay, that worked like uh, that was really, really uh, working well. But we can now close the door, and essentially, uh, the only one uh, left over is the grenadier. The grenadier has a couple of different targets with a loss that should be more than okay for him to handle. Um. I don't 
want to use command yet. We can just fall back easily. Yeah, I also don't want to stand up here. It's just not a good position to stand. Let me think about it. We want to get this guy. Yeah, and currently we're we're being targeted by multiple enemies. So we could use Overwatch to just essentially get rid of him. We could move up here. But that's a dangerous game because uh, they could move up as well. The moment that they move up, they see that we're not in cover, right? Over here is good, but it's unfortunately also giving every other enemy the opportunity to hit us. And I really like the play with the door because no one was, um, was in range. Because this here, so we close the door, it's done. No other enemies that we see, and they can't see us either. You know, I know how we can uh, deal with it. We needed a sacrificial lamb anyways. Got our hunter drone. Unfortunately, the shock missed, but that's fine. So we're moving down. Completely out of line of sight. There is an advantage of going here, but there is also a disadvantage. We could trigger another pack, which I actually don't want to do. So instead, let's just move here and overwatch. It's a decent overwatch place if we're going to um, be swarmed. This here is out of line of sight of everyone else as well. And with the vision barrier, we made sure that the only thing that the enemies see is our drone. And honestly, I don't really care if they kill it. Roby is overwatching. So we got three overwatches. Matter of fact, we got four. We got a pack of eight enemies and we killed like what, two, three, four. We killed four. No, we killed three, sorry. And there are still three left over. They are nicely dealing with the loss, so we don't have to. <sighs> Fuck you. I knew that he was still using some shenanigans, and of course.
Well, he's giving us a hard time, but I'm quote unquote okay with just receiving a flashbang. Could have been worse. Alright, now the Lost are swarming out. Why isn't he... Oh my gosh. The guy had one hit point and the Lost was not finishing him. Hmm. A bit of a bummer, since we're now disoriented, we can't use our melee attack, which for Fury is causing quite some problems, because he very much relies on his melee attack. Opening the door again. We still know that there is someone behind this wall. So let's blow it open. And maybe we're triggering some more loss. Who knows? There were already a couple of explosions. The grenade of uh, the Grenadier definitely counts as an explosion if we're exploding the car here. Uh, plus another grenade that's two further explosions. So that's almost spawning a new pack of loss. Which I don't mind because uh, the advent uh, soldiers love taking aim at the loss. There we go, a new swarm appears. That swarm triggers whatever overwatch you had left open. Good, and now let's start to systematically see whom we can kill. Good, let's one down. The loss are still far away, so I'm not necessarily concerned about them. Yeah, let's get rid of the soldier up there. 94% shot misses, unfortunately. Hmm, okay. That was... This guy up here is so evasive. He should have been dead by now. Multiple times. Hmm. Yeah, let's give him a, uh, the drone shock. I don't just want to stun him. There you go, finally. I hope it's 
Good, we're moving to here. Someone else needs to close the door. And let's just try to get rid of some of them. Yeah, the disorientation really hurts us. It just slows us down for one round. No biggie. Putting Zirkim into a better spot. Let's just get rid of at least some of these guys. Good. The ones that are the closest, because they might be able to open the door and I don't want that to happen, obviously. We're looking for lost dashers. Yep, there you are. These are usually the ones that are the fastest. Good. Then we're closing the door and reloading. So far, we haven't taken a single point of damage. Wonderful. Overwatch. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Our drone soon will no longer become hacked. So we need to use it probably the next round one more time. Killed five of the enemies, three are still left. The Rocketeer back here, he's, he needs, uh, we need to watch out for him because he still has his rocket, he hasn't used it. Okay, three rounds in. And we already have like, what, 20 or 30 kills on the board, if you count the loss. There's another pack. Smaller one, but still. Losses are starting to move, and hopefully this time they're also going to hit Advent a bit. Okay. We have been pinned down. Let's start removing a few of the losts here.
Just out of curiosity, by the way, if Fury wants to move in... I want to give him focus. I think one way of doing that is effectively slaughtering these guys here. Certainly not the most efficient way, but we need the focus. Um, yeah, I would charge all the way uh, over here, but we don't know what exactly we're going to find. And just moving back to here may not be enough to cut it. So there is really no need for us to kind of overextend at this moment. Okay, let's first and foremost get some vision, shall we? And the way that we're getting that is by moving down here. Stunning the advent, perfect. Four runs, uh, four rounds of stun is awesome. We could even charge all the way into here and kill the rocketeer. I think that would be a bit overdone. Let's just slowly but surely build up some fury, some focus rather. Alright, so he's down and very nice, we get plus one focus. <laughs> okay, now it gets a bit more interesting. Now it gets a bit more interesting. We have so many enemies on the map. Let's get rid of the sentry here. Okay, we can't for some reason see this massive container over there. But the container might be a really, really good idea for us to start with. Hmm, how could we get in and out to blow up the container? Yeah, we would need to go in pretty deep to blow up the container. Hmm. I was hoping that the sniper might be able to do it.
All right, so if we were to move up to here and blow up the container and then move back in, that would kill a lot of them, plus we would get some loot. Let's first of all move in and get the loot. You can always, always move back out. And I apologize for the frame rate drops, but apparently there is no such mission uh, without hundreds and hundreds of enemies. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is insane. Definitely need to move out elsewhere as this here is becoming very, very, very unpleasant. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. So, if we move to here, should be able to see Understood. the Grenadier and that means, yes, we can give it command and that is an extra action. All right. I think this here should explode it. I hope I'm right. The other option is to just shoot at it. You know what? It's going to save our grenade which we might use for a later moment. Um, and let's also be smart about it. Rapid deployment. Yes, please. Okay, come on, come on. Well, that means we can launch a flashbang for free. Which again, will affect all of these guys here. Just don't want any shenanigans happening. Great, three disoriented. And getting closer to that swarm that I want. We want to keep them busy. Now, let's explode this here. And since it takes so long, we already know that another uh, swarm is spawning. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, finally it has loaded. Let's go. Massive explosion. By the way, uh, if you do have uh, even a better PC than I do have, which... It is possible, but not very likely. Um, I'd be interested in understanding if if you have the same frame rate drops. I mean, clearly the XCOM engine wasn't built for 40 plus enemies, and maybe I need to just massively scale down the graphics, but this here is hilarious. All right, uh, let's move back with Fury.
good. We're doing exactly what we intended to do, which is extra action. For our grenadier. We've done a wonderful job in securing the loot and getting us many, many, many extra enemies. Which means we're moving him out of range for them. And we're continuing our little door trick here. But not before we at least kill one of the lost. I'm unfortunately unable to see someone else, so we're going to close the door. Reload with Zirkem. Nice little overwatch, just in case something happens. Same here with Edgar Alien Poe. Dark Tower Noxus. No, we can put Roby since he anyways moves the slowest. We can put him to here. Another Overwatch. And Dark Tower Noxus goes for full cover. It's not the best position, guys, but it's a position that we found ourselves in. I wanted to play from high ground. But it seems to be absolutely impossible to deal with the amount of enemies uh, or to get up there and uh, do that in a stealthy way. We tried our dearest not to arise too much suspicion. Lots of grazing shots. Half of the map is burning, by the way. And we're almost we're only four rounds in, and it feels like the death counter is far above twenty-five. I also have to admit that for the first time. I lost a little bit track of the count of the enemies. We are fighting against three packs at once, at least. Which is going to stink going forward. Luckily for us, the enemy does exactly what I wanted it to do, focusing on the loss. And as long as we're able to continue like bringing up additional swarms of the loss, which so far hadn't been a problem with all of the explosions here, we should be fine. All right, the enemy moved up. And our drone just rejoin the enemy again. So the loss with their movement should trigger all of the overwatch shots. All right, finally the overwatch shots are being triggered. There we go. Almost like a Mexican standoff and then all of a sudden everyone starts to 
uh, starts to loosen up and uh, it seems a lot of people here had an itchy trigger a uh, trigger finger So far, we still haven't taken any damage. Perfect. Further explosions. Perfect. Okay. So I think, being 50 minutes in, this here is a really, really, really good position to um, stop the first uh, recording. We got ourselves at least, let's think about it, it was a robot plus uh, three, so that's four enemies. We got uh, two snakes, two sector, it's, it's another four, eight. We still got three enemies from the initial pack remaining, no two, uh, so that's ten. And we got a, strength, a stroller pack of uh, sector plus uh, viper uh, that added, so that's twelve, plus probably twenty loss that are still out there so somewhere in the uh, order of magnitude of 30 enemies uh, that we're currently fighting uh, which is going to be interesting uh, we're going to continue with liberating north africa in our next mission thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the content leave a like down below and tell me which part of the shootout was your favorite thank you and have a great day bye bye